Guys, Premier League football's back and you really know it's back when Chelsea face a North London football team and there's absolute carnage at Stamford Bridge. And again, I just want to echo the thoughts and I'm sure James will agree with me. I want to echo the thoughts of Jamie Carragher. I want to echo some of the thoughts of Graham Sooners who did not choose his words brilliantly today. This is what we want to see. I, I don't care. I don't care. And I've talked about this in all sports. Golf, you hit a wrong shot. I want to see you break your club over your knee because you're upset about it. Cricket, right? Or, or any gentlemanly sport you can think of. I love a bit of Conor McGregor, right? You know what I mean? I love that kind of... I love a bit of Nick Kyrgios, right? So to me, watching Christian Romero take any opportunity to get one up on a Chelsea player, right? Watching Thomas Tuchel run past Antonio Conte celebrating and somehow not getting a yellow card, right? All this kind of stuff, whether you condone it or not, this sport is about entertainment. We pay for Now TV, we pay for Sky Sports, we pay for BT, whatever, for the entertainment that it brings us, okay? Of course, I'm talking about Spurs, uh, sorry, Chelsea 2, Spurs 2 uh, in, t in today's game. I loved it, James. I think you and I both had a, a Spurs win. I had 2-1. I believe you had 3-1. Um, but a draw, I think, generally speaking, on balance might have been the fair result. But there were some very questionable refereeing decisions, which I think on a different day should have gone a different way. What was your take on the game? Um, uh, yeah. Give um, I wouldn't I, I wouldn't say the, the draw was a fair result. I feel one team was just head and shoulders above the other. Tottenham did not play well throughout the whole game and that was mainly to me down to Chelsea and Chelsea's brilliance. Jack, we can talk about all these issues with Chelsea here and there and yes, I, I told you I was a bit worried, Jack. They're still a very good football team. For and sure. we've seen that out today without an out and out striker, Jack. If to me they had a number nine today, it could have been four or five easily. Kai Havertz missing a point blank range shot that he needs to score. Exact same thing with like Raheem Sterling with, with a shot to me that he hits a target, it's a goal. Chelsea had so many numerous and numerous chances. If they had that converter in there, this isn't a contest. It is not a contest at all. I felt for some weird reason, Chelsea in the wide areas were really, really effective um, compared to Spurs. Rhys James had an incredible game. You know, he's, in, the, he's the real deal, yeah. You know, if if if, if Gareth Southgate's looking, who should I pick for a thing? Obviously, I'm a big fan of Carl Walker. Rhys James is definitely making a huge case why he should be the starting fullback for England leading up to that World Cup. Again, Jack, I just, like, I look at Chelsea and there's so many good pluses that I can mention there. Jorginho was fantastic, Jack, and yeah, I, I hate to well. say it, I was, I was wrong about Jorginho. Listen, the way he controls the game, way he can slow it down and then from like like and, and like speed it up whenever he wants, the tempo of it, even physically at times, getting like like getting about the pitch, he does that really well. Carlo Kulabali, Jack, you mentioned how it was a, it was it was a sign in that maybe four like two three years ago would have been you, yeah would have been a bit years more too late yeah exciting, Jack. He's still fantastic. He is still a brilliant, yeah. brilliant, brilliant centre back. The goal he took and the goal he took was fantastic. But then I look can I, on. Can I quickly? Can I quickly ask you about that goal? Because I was shouting at my TV um, when I was hearing Graham Sunes talk about if you're a, if you're a senior player, you need to pick up Koulibaly. It's like Graham, it's zonal marking, mate. What that means is you mark a zone. If all your zones are covered, and then this is a player who's not in one of your zones, that's not on the players. That's on the manager who set up your defensive set piece, right? Am I am I right in saying that? Because uh, yeah, always, yeah, yeah. But, whole, but, but if you're I, a senior player, you've got to get. I'm like Graham. But, shut but up. Jack, there must have there must have been some serious like miscommunication because that was that that's a big zone that he was in acres of space. He probably could have brought that down. So I'm guessing somebody must have missed that. Um, on um, that area there, if I'm being being yeah. truthfully honest. But on the Spurs side of it, Jack, really, really, really poor. But I said something. It's Tottenham. And Tottenham never get results against Chelsea. But God almighty, that was serious character there. If you don't play well, and especially in an especially in an environment, in a stadium that you struggle in for many, many years, 
for you to come out there with a point jack after that performance there that's impressive oh Jay, that is really 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 impressive and i've seen the um, tottenham players celebrate at the end and people say oh why are they celebrating that's a big result for them Huge. you play like that against chelsea and then you're also able to pick up a point late on why not yeah i mean like, I'll be honest, seriously. chelsea played way better than i thought they would um mm -hmm. spurs weren't as good as i thought they would be though um and but I'll, I'll say this though spurs defensively looked really really good um and and there's the odd just in terms of blocking getting their bodies around i like i really liked what um Pierre Milhoybier brought in, you know, he's brilliant, just getting around the pitch, doing all that kind of stuff. I'm a huge, huge fan of him. Like I say, Conte's really bringing together some of his his types of players there. You can see Ivan Perisic on the sideline trying to help out, do a bit of coaching, then he comes on. Right, like I said, I know that people may not condone it, but it is exciting. Christian Romero, right, he's being a pain in the neck to somebody like Kai Havertz. Um, Biggest problem though for me, James. Christian Romero should have seen a red card. Oh, um, Christian Romero Jack. yanks Kukurea's head, and also, what's funny? What's kind of funny for me anyway? Kukurea's hair is like that's that's it's quite an easy thing to see. It's like the most. It's it's almost like cartoonish yanking somebody who's got hair like that because it's so obvious, right? Jack, this um, this is two weeks now that this has happened from yeah. VAR's standpoint, where some clear cut stuff. Yeah. They've completely let it go. Yeah. And I'm having a big problem because Jack, that was that that's not something that you need to look at four no. or five times. Blatant. That's abuse to me. Yeah. See it once. Yeah. See it once and it's a red Simple card. As. No, I agree. I agree with you. You know? I I look at that and then to me the Kai Havers thing, that is like I thought Chelsea's... that was a good I thought that was a good tackle. I'm not gonna lie. He got I the ball. Jack, I don't I'm think okay so. With that. Because my biggest thing about that is that if you're an attacker Kai Havertz has momentum. He's going directly towards goal. You claim he got the ball, but the ball doesn't change direction at all, and it's still in Kai Havertz's path. He does he, even if he gets the minimal bit of ball. That, that to me is not good enough for you to for you to say it's not a foul. But that problem was Kai Havertz's ball. But James, the problem there is where do you draw the line? See, I draw the line of where you get the ball and do you go through the man or not. To me, he didn't go through he, the man and he got yes, the he ball. Did. I don't, so. I don't think so. I don't think so. Because Kai Havertz got fouled. That's how the Kai Havertz I don't, no, no, but, but you saying he got fouled is a definitive. And I, I disagree with you. I don't think that's a definitive. I don't think that's a definitive foul. That's why to, that's why to me that one wasn't given. Because it's a sliding tackle. He doesn't go th like completely through the back of him, wipe him out. He, he gets a toe on the ball. I think your point about the ball doesn't change direction, so, that doesn't matter. Like, you know, the ball... Go ahead. If the ball is still in my path, I'm still in control of it. If you don't touch me, I'm going clear through on goal. You tackle me from behind, you wipe me out, you stop me from going through. Jack, it's a clear foul to me. But I, I disagree with you, Matt. I think I think you're wrong on that one. Um, the Kukurea one's different gravy. Um, you know that, like like you say, I mean that's assault. <laughs> if, if we're if we're if we're in a local park, you know, you're calling the police, and that man's getting arrested. Um, Serious. I love the, I love the violence, though. I do. I love. <laughs> no, but seriously, like James, you know, the, why why do we watch UFC, right? Why do we watch boxing? Because you love that. You love the violence. This is what we like to see. And even if it's something as silly as a handshake where you don't look somebody in the eye, right? Now. Thomas Tuchel, in my view, he doesn't cover himself in glory for that whole thing, right? Because him and Conte, Tuchel's annoyed about the lack of decisions, right? And fair enough, if, if, you, if I was manager of the team, I'd be irked too, because you have, you have your biases. He then kind of pokes the bear a little bit. I think Tuchel should have seen a second yellow for running past Conte out of his box, celebrating with the players. To me, he should have been sent off for that. That's the way the rules should be. So again, another thing of the rules not being enforced. And again, all Conte's doing, he wants to shake his hand and they can go their separate ways. But he keeps him in, keeps him in, and then does the eye contact thing. So again, a bit petty from Thomas Tuchel there, but James, rivalry. We haven't seen a proper, we've had this kind of like passive respect clop and pep thing going yeah. on at the moment where it's like, we're both really good and we're challenging each other and it's great. Like, no, we want to see Wenger and Ferguson and you know push, that's what we push want. Push yeah. exactly. Seriously, it, it's true. And and um, like where's I going? To to be fair with um Thomas Tuchel, I respect what he did right there because he like he let me know that he ain't somebody to mess with. Because Antonio Conte, you automatically look at him 
just see like this Italian Psycho. mafia sort yeah. of, you, you know, put person there. He's, he held his hand, didn't let him go and said, look me, in the, that, that's a bad man move. Yeah, it's that's good. a bad man move. And let's be honest, I think he would have banged. I, I definitely think he would have banged <laughs> He's Antonio definitely got, Conteo. definitely got the height on him, I'm not going to lie. But Jack, I, I, have you realised something is that there seems to be a lot of animosity from former Chelsea coaches coming back to Stamford Bridge. This happened with Mourinho, like, so many times coming back um, um, to Stamford Bridge. And now it's happened with Antonio Conte right now. It's, it's, it's just this other thing. Maybe, like, the saltiness from what happened before nine times out of ten they're, they're, they're getting well, sacked maybe yeah. that kind of adds to the rivalry to, to me I think that does add to it but I'd also say Chelsea Football Club is not really a football club that I would personally associate with loyalty right there are a few standout players who I think you could go that's a loyal you know ride or die Chelsea legend right like a Frank Lampard or a Terry right those are a couple of guys who are like oh my days right but on the most part, I think Chelsea fans, are, Chelsea fans, generally speaking, are very happy to just bin off players, bin off managers the moment they're not giving them what they want. And again, James, you and I have talked about this for years. Chelsea's winning mentality. These guys, I mean, James, you tell me how many more Champions Leagues over the last however many years have Chelsea got compared to a team such as Man City at the moment. And again, there's a mental thing for this Chelsea team where there's the, like, what, what do we say? Like once every five years, once every four years, Chelsea are going to win a league out of somewhere. Well, maybe it's going to be different on the Todd ball, but Chelsea are the only team I know that can perform form in disarray. The club could be in disarray and they'll somehow get to a Champions League final. Yep. Something something crazy like that. It always seems to happen with them. But guys, Chelsea fans, Tottenham fans, the battle of the bridge for some weird reason, this Tottenham versus Chelsea feels a bit more spicier than Arsenal versus Tottenham. I don't know what it is in the actual game. It's just, you know, it's just added, added like animosity. I don't know where it's come from. But, but I will, I will say, mate. Like I did mention this a second ago, Conte's bringing in some of his guys. You know what I mean? Like he's got a couple of these people, like Richarlison, Christian Romero, like a couple of these guys. Like they do the dark arts well. And again, we don't condone it from a sporting point of view. But to say that it's not entertaining is just a bold-faced lie. Ah, but also, <laughs> it's still Spurs. Oh, that, that's all I'm going to say. But Tottenham fans... <laughs> now we're going to... James, now we're going to get dislikes on the video. <laughs> Listen, if you're Tottenham fans, if you want to dislike, go, um, <laughs> Do it. go ahead. Tell me what you think about the game. Chelsea, can they actually challenge for the league with a performance like that? If you get a striker, can you challenge for a league? Tottenham on the other hand you talk about not playing well and also getting a good result can you guys challenge comment down below let us know this is box to box football and we will see you next time mm -hmm.